Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video and in this one I'm talking to you guys about the easiest 10v10 3 star strategy to execute. Um, this is in my experience. It's not necessarily the best one, but if you're having trouble identifying a base, doing a more complex attack like a La Loon or a Hog attack, this one can really be a lifesaver and it was for us. Um, we didn't win this war, but it definitely was a, a key um, strategy that we fell back on to take out some of these bases. Now, it's, of course, going to be better against bases that aren't maxed out, um, but you can do it against a pretty good variety of layouts. It is the Witch Bowler composition, and it has lots of variations, but the idea is you're sending a Bowler Kill Squad through the middle of the base. You're going to use most of your spells there. Then you're going to either use a Queen Walk or Witches, along the outside. So basically you're cleaning up the sides of the base as you go through the middle. It's kind of like a minor attack in that it's an entire wave, wave of troops going through the base simultaneously. Um, there's not really any defensive targeting troops besides a couple of loons or hogs if you bring them. So it's similar to miners but it's a different, um, a different type of attack and it can work against these bases that have separate infernos. They don't even have to be in uh, in a direct line. As you can see in this base, you have the two infernos kind of offset to the left, but it can still be done. Now, Devin elects to use a queen walk, which is a, um, a good choice on a lot of bases because the Lava Hound in the CC makes it worth it to use your queen. Now, he's going to, uh, to move his queen along the left there, and if the queen walk is there, take it. If there's a lava hound in the CC, because oftentimes a queen walks better. That way, you only have to use witches on one side. The witches are good at cleaning up the outside of the base, along with a few bowlers and or wizards. Whereas the um, main force goes into the middle of the base. That's gonna be your king, your golem, your bowlers, a few valks maybe. Um, one part that was very important were these hasted loons. Very good um, thing to pair with this attack because they can get in there and take out a bunch of unsuspecting. Teslas and cannons, especially if you have the haste uh, spell for them. So a nice touch there. The witches did die, but typically you're going to have something left up. In this case, it's the queen as well as the king and like a bowler or two still working in the middle. So very nice stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the strategy, guys. Uh, identify what you want to do on the sides and identify your entry point. So look at the base. Uh, think about how you can get to each Inferno Tower. The Inferno Towers are the key. You want to clear those out as well as the middle part of the base with your kill squad. Typically, you're going to have two jumps, two rages, and one heal. Use the heal in between Inferno Towers um, and use the jumps to jump through. Use the rages um, just at the appropriate spots for your bowlers um, as your kill squad moves through. So um, keep in mind the queen walks, if you do use them, don't want to invest a rage. You want to only have to use that queen's ability um, but you can send the queen in with the kill squad and use witches on both sides like Devin is going to in this one. Very good war to Devin getting uh, the six star war. Um, use, uses three witches on either side. On the top, he uses two healers. Now healers are something you can pair with your witches if they're going along the outside of the base. And it will keep them up through wizard towers and even through point defense because remember the healers do more healing to regular troops than they do to the queen so we have a skewed idea of how much they heal they actually heal a lot more than you see them heal the queen on just regular troops so um, the healers will keep the witches up you can only do it on sides of the base where the air defenses won't shoot the healers down so he doesn't do it on the bottom witches just the top ones heals them over a giant bomb so great value for those healers Meanwhile, the queen did have to deal with the Lava Hound, but she shoots it down, and then she'll get in there, get that next Inferno. Means he doesn't have to jump into the Inferno. Oftentimes, if your uh, jump can't reach the second Inferno, that's when the queen's very helpful, because she can take it out and move a little bit deeper than just the king and the bowlers and the golems can. So, um, crushes this base. Somewhat rare to see both sides meet at the end. You have the three witches on the bottom, and I think all three witches on the top. So, um, did not lose a single witch this attack. Great stuff. Nice attack to Devin. That's going to be it, though, guys. Just two attacks to show. Wish I had a few more, but that's all from this war uh, that we had in terms of this strategy. But that's that's the basics, guys. Um, it's a little bit of an easier strategy to use, which is why I wanted to make a video about it, because it's not. there's more room for error. And against the right base, if you choose the right angle, 
Um, you can three star a base that would otherwise be very, very difficult to hit with dragons or uh, miners or Laloon or hogs or all these other strategies that take a little more planning, a little more base analysis. This one, uh, not saying it doesn't take skill, it definitely takes skill in base identification, but you can cook it up faster and get it going um, with a little less deeper planning behind it and it has more room for error against the right base when used properly so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed um did not win this week in cwl we are eliminated uh, but had a good war and we were very very close to winning just one dip fail at the end kind of screwed us all up um not to mention stuff earlier in the war a lot of things that we could change but that will do it i'll talk more about this war in a later video and uh, Patreon perks coming out very soon. Check my Patreon channel. Um, if you were a patron in the month of October and there's instructions how to get your perks. So be sure to check that out if you are a patron. And if you're not, check it out anyway um, if you're interested. So that'll do it and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.